There are three ways in which to interpret problems. One is problem presentation, which is interpreting or defining the problem. This often leads to poor solutions. Then there's divergent thinking, or problems that have no single correct solution and require a flexible, intentive approach. Then there's convergent thinking, thinking that narrows its focus in a particular direction, assuming that there is only one solution. Or strategies with which to evaluate and solve problems. An algorithm is a problem-solving method that guarantees a solution if it is appropriate for the problem and is properly carried out. Problem-solving method in which you have lots of different options and you try each one and see which one works best. I wanted to make the icing for our cake blue instead of white. Oh no, it's too blue. Oh, that makes sense. that we had only colored half of the icing, it was too late. We used trial and error to get the other half of our icing the right shade of blue. I want that. Information retrieval is how we retrieve information from our long-term memory, especially when a solution is needed quickly. Oh wow, I'm so stressed out. I really need to study tonight. It's okay, I'll help you study. Okay, I'm gonna quiz you. Okay. Um, the portion of memory that is more or less permanent corresponding to everything we know. Long-term memory. Good. Okay, try this one. Temporal lobe. I'm not sure. Maybe you should think of a mnemonic device so you can remember it. That's a good idea. Information retrieval. Remember your mnemonic device? Oh, yeah! Temperature by Sean Paul! When I'm on the way to time, Paul, I wanna be keeping you warm. I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm. Hold on, girl, I got the right tactics to turn you on. And girl, I wanna be the papa, you can be the mom. Hello there. I see you've caught me in the study. Heuristics are rules of thumb that don't guarantee a solution, but they bring one within reach. There are four types of heuristics. Hill climbing is one such strategy. It's a problem-solving strategy in which each step moves you progressively closer towards your goal. Sub-goals are intermediate, more manageable goals used in one heuristic strategy to make it easier to reach the final goal. Means-end analysis is a strategy that aims to reduce the discrepancy between the current situation and the desired goal at a number of intermediate points. Working backward is a strategy in which one works backward from the desired goal to the given conditions. Step one. When I grow up, I want to be a lawyer, but first I have to get through middle school. Step two. Do well in high school. Step three, get into a good college. I got in. And step four, become a successful lawyer. some obstacles to solving problems. One of them is a person's level of motivation or emotional arousal. A second is a mental set or the tendency to perceive and approach problems in a certain way. It can be helpful if learned operations can be applied to present situations, but it can also create obstacles. Functional fixedness or the tendency to perceive only a limited number of uses for an object, thus interfering with the process of problem solving.
Thunder Paul said, well, I'm on the way the time. Cold, I want to be keeping you warm. I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm. Hold on, girl, I got the right tactics to turn you on. And girl, I want to be the papa, you can be the mom. Oh, oh. Because of the girl, them broke up on the floor. 